Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is KayX and I'm back. Yeah, I keep coming back so much. Yeah. Well guys, I was really busy. Yeah. Again. Well, somehow my life is shit. Anyways, I'm back with this video and uh, since I was really busy so I couldn't make real content and I had to kind of steal stuff and so I bring this great MLBB official YouTube channel's video on our new boy Terizla. And I think the video is pretty good and it could be of help to those who wanna play Terizla. Or even if you don't wanna play Terizla then you should at least understand how this hero works because since this hero is new a lot of people gonna play him and you are bound to find him in your team or on your opponent's team. So it will be good for you if you have a good understanding of Terizla so that you can play with him or against him. Also later in this video I'm gonna show you guys two amazing skins that are gonna be Coming to Mobile Legend pretty soon, you may have already seen the pictures of these two skins but I'm gonna show you the full intro animation and also a bit of gameplay with these two amazing amazing skins that are gonna hurt your wallet pretty bad and if you don't have that wallet then you might wanna start begging for your parents debit card or credit card whatever you use anyways and also at the end of this video i'm gonna show you a possible another king of fighter skin that's gonna show up in mobile legend so watch till the end to know who it is and what kind of skin they're gonna have anyways enough talk let's watch the stolen girl magic is my life oceans are my domain Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Road to Mythic. Here, the Mobile Legends team will introduce the gameplay and skills of an exciting new hero in detail. Today, we'll talk about Terizla, the Executioner. Terizla is armed with a very heavy and slow speed weapon, but one that deals extreme damage. As such, the following are the recommended equipment items. Bloodlust Axe and Endless Battle would increase his lifesteal and shorten the skill CD. Blade of Viptasius and Blade of Despair would greatly enhance his burst DPS and ability to slay enemies. His durability on the battlefield could be greatly enhanced with the Wings of the Apocalypse Queen when coupled with Terizla's passive. Since Terizla's Execution Strike skill could be controlled along with his movement, increasing his movement speed prior to casting would enhance the attack range of this skill. Terizla can poke enemies with the Revenge Strike skill during the laning phase. A timely casting of the Revenge Strike gets Terizla closer to the enemies before finishing them off with the Executioner Strike. Wait for the most opportune moment to leap into the fray with the penalty zone. Ultimate skill. Follow up immediately with the revenge strike to slow the enemies down before finishing them off with three bursts of the executioner strike. Terizla is strong in the early to mid game with his high damage output that is coupled with tank-like durability. This would enable Terizla to gain an early advantage over the opponents. A set of equipment will enable Terizla to deal an incredibly high damage output. Timing of his attacks are important as he is unable to produce continuous damage. Therefore, control the enemies first with the penalty zone ultimate skill before following up with hard hitting attacks. Lifesteal from equipments and emblems would allow Terizla to regenerate HP quickly by attacking nearby creeps and minions when life is low. That's all for the new hero, Terizla. Stay tuned for more episodes of The Road to Mythic and Rise the Ranks. Let us know what you'd like to watch in the future by leaving a comment below. Until next time, we'll be seeing you in the Land of Dawn.
Oh yes, I forgot to mention that if you want an in-depth skill explanation of Terry's last skills, then you might want to check out the video I made when he got first release. You should see a link at top corner of your screen. Click there and it will take you to that video. Just remember this guys that I made that video when he got released and he had a different passive back then. So you will see a different kind of passive than the one he has right now, which is the recent one is actually pretty similar to Gator. That's why I actually like his previous passive because you would have to be really tactical and skillful to use his passive fully back then. Anyways, uh, just check out the videos and have a great day. I hope you guys smash with Terry's luck. And at last, I'm very very sorry guys for not bringing you original content in this video. Kind of stealing stuff from Mobile Legends original, you know, YouTube channel. So, yeah. Don't. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave the link to their channel so you might want to check it out and subscribe or whatever you want to like. Just check it out. It would be helpful. And I'm kind of have, you know, have a good conscience that I kind of help them and stole at the same time. Anyway, so that's it for this video guys. I hope everyone liked it. Please leave a like if you liked it and comment below because that's what that section is made for. Use it. And if you are new then please subscribe and ring that bell that pops up beside it because it's a bad manner to not ring a bell when you see one and that's it for this video i am out see now you know why einstein was so genius and if you wanna be one like him then you know what to do subscribe